Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at question 1790. Check if one string swap can make strings equal. The way we'll be solving this problem is by keeping a track of all of the indices that we need to change or possibly swap um, and check if the number of indices are greater than two or not. But before we get into that, there are a couple of uh, base cases that we need to cover. So let's say if string of um, string one equals string two, as in both of them are equal, nothing needs to be swapped. In this case, you would just return true as um, it is one of the requirements in the question. Uh, where does it say? It says at most one string. So basically, uh, even if you don't swap anything, they'll be equal, so you return true. The next thing that you need to check is that if s1 dot uh, length, as in if the sizes of both the strings that are given to us are not equal, that means regardless of how many ever times you swap, they will not be the same. So you just return false as is. Awesome. So these are the two base cases that we care about. The next thing that we need to do is actually keep a track of um, the number of indices that are different. So to keep a track of the number of indices that are different, we need um, a data structure that can grow in size because at this point we don't really know how many integers, um, sorry, how many indices would be different. So we create an array list for that. And we say indices and let's call it and then initialize it, array list. Great. Once we have that, let's iterate through all of the letters and both the strings. And then S1, uh, actually, Let's just get the length prior. So that's in size increment i. So if um, s1 dot character at i, if it is not the same as the characters at a given index are not the same, as in they are different, uh, we need to keep a track of that. So we would just say indices that add i. Awesome. So once we have that, we know that we can uh, swap only two integers, right? We can swap only two indices. So if the size of indices um, array list is greater than two, that means even if we swap it, it, uh, it doesn't really matter because the strings won't be the same. So you do one quick check whether if it is greater than two or not. If it is, you just return false. Else, uh, what you need to do is that if, let's just actually get the indices. Index one, oh, it's actually, it is not equal to two actually, because it can be one as well. So index of one would be equal to indices dot get zero. And then int index two will be equal to indexes dot get uh, one. Awesome. So you need to check if you swap them, they'll actually be the same. So how do you check that, right? So if s1 dot character at index one um, is equal to um, s2 dot character at index two, and then you just need to swap them and check. So you need an uncondition because you need to swap both of them. And then both of them, uh, when you swap them, it gives you the same string. So if they are equal, you would return true. If this is not the case, you would return false. That is the entire problem. It's a pretty simple problem. It's marked easy as well. Awesome. So let's try combining this and see if it's OK. The first few test cases are OK. Everything else is okay as well. Awesome. So let's talk about the space and the time complexity of the entire solution. So the time complexity is of n since we are going through every single array in the in the two strings that are given to us. And the space complexity is also of n, but that's the worst case where all of the indices are different and we need to store that uh, in indexes. Awesome. If you have any questions about the problems, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. I would really appreciate that. It definitely keeps me motivated to make more videos. Um, thanks so much, and I'll see you folks in the next video. Peace.